Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will talk about the role of people, process, and technology in information security. So people, process, and technology are together referred to as the information security triad, or the three, the bundle of three, the triad. All three aspects help to form a holistic and complete view of information security. All three are important and significant and cannot be overlooked in an information security program or in any information security activity. First of all, let's look at people. People must be trained to effectively and correctly follow the policies, the information security processes, and implement technology. Social engineering and phishing, for example, are aspects that people must be trained to handle appropriately. So people is usually considered the most important aspect from people, process, and technology because people need to be trained on the policy, how to conduct the activities, and they run the entire information security program also. In fact, they run the technology or evaluate the technology, and they run the processes also. So people would be the most important factor, even though all three are fairly significant. Now about processes. Processes are fundamental to effective information security. In fact, it is commonly said that if there is no process culture, organized process culture in an organization, and a mechanism developed in an organization, a controlled mechanism to conduct activities, then if we try to overlay an information security layer on top of a disorganized culture of the organization, it will not settle very well because information security is all about process. If the basic working and culture of the organization is already a culture in which processes are controlled and regulated and given importance, then the information security layer will settle very nicely on top of an organization. And that would be a successful information security program. Processes are fundamental to inf effective information security for example, user access management is a process. Conducting backups of different devices, routers and servers and databases is a process which needs to be conducted. Incident management is a process which needs to be followed. Change management is a process. Vulner vulnerability management would be a process developed so that all the activities of vulnerability management are conducted effectively. And it would, conduct, it would actually consist of some technology, some process, and some people interaction or person interaction. And then we have risk management. Risk management needs to be conducted by people, but it is a process. Now, technology plays a very, very central role in today's IT world in the information security program. Let's take an example. We have firewalls. We have an antivirus. We have email anti-spam filtering solution at the edge of the network. Whatever email is coming in, it will, it will take out the spam and the malware from the mails. It will check the attachments to make sure there is no malware in the, in the attachments. A web filtering solution to restrict the web access and to stop users from going to malicious websites where they could be infected by malware. A data loss prevention solution to stop the exfiltration or the going outwards of important critical corporate data and to detect if data is being leaked by any malicious user in the organization. Also to implement controls on a desktop, for example, limiting a print screen or limiting the USB ports or limiting or shutting down the ports uh, such as removable drives. This is an example in this diagram of an integrated security operation center. And let's just talk about this as an example of how to integrate people, process, and technology in information security. Now, a security operation center is just like a network operation center. And a security operation center in this diagram consists of managed devices, for example, applications, firewall, web, the network, and from here, the different logs are collected and information is collected into a data acquisition layer, and that is where the data is all collected in the form of events. Then we have the data integration which takes place, 
in the form of um, security event correlation, problem management, policy management, asset and change management. And then finally, and this is all happening at the event correlation layer, and then we have the presentation layer on which there is security management and then compliance management and conduct and delivering reports. So if you look in this diagram in a security operation center where we are monitoring security and getting ready to tackle security incidents, the, at the managed services and the managed devices layer at the bottom and the data acquisition layer, it's all technology. But at the event correlation layer, it's a mixture of technology and process. And at the presentation layer, there is again people who are conducting processes and they are issuing reports. They're conducting security management. They're conducting compliance management. So a security operation center is a good example of an activity or a center where people, process, and technology, all of them have to come together to implement information security. That's all that we have for this video. Thank you.